Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 4. Last episode, we pretty much finished up looking around out here and, well, killed a necromancer who happened to be living out there and got some absolutely fantastic gear. I mean, just look at those stats. That is... I love it. <laughs> oh, Nova, you're going to be a beast. Now, it's time to head down to Mertis, which we are already aware has a bit of an undead problem. Again. Silvar North, Mertis South, Tower of Magi South. Beware, undead, stick to West Road. If encountered, run swiftly. I think maybe we'll listen for once. There is an abandoned merchant camp here. Caravans probably stopped here frequently to rest and water the lizards on the road between Mertis and Silvar. There aren't any merchants here now. There is only one skeleton. The mobile animated kind. At first you aren't scared. Skeletons are, in your experience, puny foes. This one in particular seems to be crumbling before your eyes. But then you notice something odd. As the skeleton starts to slowly rush toward you, its bones crack and flake. But then as you watch, they rapidly reform themselves. The skeleton is bearing some sort of enchantment that, keep, that helps it to constantly reform itself when harmed. This is a sort of magic you have not heard of before, and the advancing skeleton doesn't seem inclined to give you time to ponder it. Well, let's see what we can do about it. Maybe we can kill it? Wow, it's resistant to disruption damage. That's... very, very bad. When it's resistant to the thing that's meant to destroy it, that is extremely bad. We're not even doing very much to it. But we are damaging it. Maybe we can kill it? Unless it decides to heal itself. Which it hasn't yet. Which is good. I think. I should probably start ta stop talking like this. <laughs> okay. We may actually have this. Okay, we got it. That was surprisingly tough. Okay, let's stick to the West Road then and not go that way. In fact, let's head right to Mertis, which is right here. Hello, Mertis. You enter the village of Mertis. This is one of the oldest settlements in Avernum, a farming community which takes advantage of these unusually warm and moist caverns. Except for the occasional outbreaks of undead, this area has long been very peaceful and pleasant. There are the beginnings of the wall around the town, but work on it has never been very intense. Adventurers speak often of the Church of the Prevailing Righteousness, a large shrine in this town. The priest there is known for his devotion to martial magic and for his willingness to heal passing adventurers. Occasional outbreaks of undead, yeah, pretty much always. When are there not undead here? These guards are watching the tunnel to the west. They say that it leads to the Honeycomb, an enormous natural labyrinth full of untamed beasts and vile bandits. They suggest that if you're heading that way, you have proper supplies. Like lots of food and a will. Now, do they mean a will to live, or a well, or a will for er, who gets your stuff? That's what I want to know. Touch! <laughs> Shining Golden Band. Hmm. Plus one armor, plus seven energy. That's useless. We've gotten much better but what armor but items before. Completely useless. Because I and I explore all around the outside first. Voorhees looks surprised. A letter for me? He opens it, reads it, and says, How about that? I have a new brother. He is poor, but he t he is poor, but he takes some change from his pocket and hands it to you. Hmm. Simple enough. There is a young man here l tending the fields of crops. He looks up at you with envy. A life not spent jabbing at mushrooms with a stick seems very appealing to him. Wow! Hi, I'm Voorhees. You're an adventurer. Wow. What are you working on? Oh, just my mushrooms. Tending mushrooms. Always mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. What do you wish you were doing? 
traveling. There are people coming and going from Murtis all the time, and I just stay here, tending mushrooms and hoping the undead don't get me. Have you seen any undead? Uh, not yet. They have always stayed away from the town, even the ones that were around before I was born. But you never know when they'll change their minds. Do you wish you were an adventurer? I... I'm not sure. I know you get to go places and do brave things, but I know lots of adventurers get killed. Yeah, there's kind of a pretty low survival rate for that. Yeah. Do you wish you traveled with merchants? I guess I do. They get to go all over the place and drink and make money. Though here it's really hard work and bandits can kill you. Yeah. Look at look at it this way. At least this way, you're alive. Oh. Eh, I think we're fine without stealing that one. When you approach this farmer, he looks very annoyed. At last, an adventurer. The Tower of Magi promised they'd send someone out to help me weeks ago. I can't do my work without support. Then he notices how confused you look. Oh. You weren't sent by them, were you? Just another wanderer. F figures. I'm Maxfield, a farmer. What do you do for the Tower of Magi? I test the new plants they develop. When they come up with a new fungal tree or sort of glowing fungus, they send it up to me, and I grow it and see what happens. The Tower of Magi makes plants? Of course. Every living plant around you, the fungal trees that give us cave wood, the huge mushrooms that feed us, and the glowing moss that gives us light, all of them were made by the sages and alchemists in the tower. What do you test for? Food that doesn't turn into poison, trees that don't grow out of control and choke the whole area, bushes that don't kill people, and so on. Wasn't the Tower of Magi destroyed? Of course, but there was quite an active colony of mages in the ruins. Active, but forgetful. Maxfield keeps working as he talks to you. He has a mushroom growing in a pond, and he stares at it extremely closely. Though it's just a small fungus, he seems fascinated. Do you have some sort of mission for me? Yes, though you would have to get your reward at the tower. One of the plants they sent me is out of control. I need you to hack it a, a bit for me. I can help you. All right, then, about time. The shed that leads down to the testing caves is in the northeast corner of town. I'll get it unlocked for you. There are some bushes there that have g just gone all hostile on me. Cut them back a bit until they're under control, and I'd really appreciate it. Sure, we'll take care of that after we explore through the town. Because we may as well. Let's see. The end of Myrtis, celebrating our 40th year of service. So, Avernum is at least 40, then. Hmm. Huh. There are a lot of merchants in Myrtis passing through on their way north or south. They are an unfriendly and mistrustful lot. They seem to see little difference between adventurers and bandits. This woman looks like she's traveled a long way to be here, and she had to fight something pretty much every step of the way. When you approach, she looks you over closely. Then she nods. Well, you look like you're worth my time. I'm Corin. I hope you're not as incompetent as every other adventurer I've met lately. She takes a sip of wine and lets out a, lo a long, loud sigh. Where did you travel from? I'm from the castle. I'm an agent sent up here to do a number of tasks, and I'm looking for people to hire for the murder step of my journey. How is the journey up here? Efficient for the most part. The city of Almeria has one of those shades in it, and it's clouding everyone's mind, making them paranoid. Took a lot of work to get through there. Apart from that, I could move quickly. How'd you get through? Bribed a guard, snuck through. Then the people found out what I did and hung the guard. Real shame, but I was by. Oof. Corin sips her wine and taps her blade absentmindedly with her finger. Then she looks up at you. What, still here? Where are you going next? Up to Fort Avernum to... I'd better not say, but if you're actually skilled... You should go up to Fort Avernum, east of Silvar. Look around, ask what they're doing. If they approve of you, you'll find something quite useful. We've already done so, thank you. What do you want from me? Well, there is a bandit outpost in the Honeycomb, west of here. I think it's in the southwest corner. I need to go out there and liquidate some folks, but I'm not going to waste time and energy walking every mile of that mess myself. I've been offering adventurers a bounty for the first to tell me how to reach the bandits. You aren't the first I sent. If you tell me where to go, I'll pay you in gems. Any advice on where to look? Southwest, I think. Directions make any sense in that tangle. 
one thing I do remember previously the uh, the honeycomb it just didn't have a map but when you opened up your mini map you could see where everything is and get through it just fine but with this change in the engine oh my god I don't know how we're going to find our way through this it's gonna be fun <laughs> This inn looks like it has been here for many years. It is worn and crumbling, but still holding together somehow, like its owner. The innkeeper walks up to you and greets you with a toothless smile. Welcome to the inn. Shake the dust and mold off the road of, your f of the road off of your feet. I'm Kenny. Care for a drink? Any interesting news lately? Well, there's undead everywhere. A man just got eaten by a zombie. That's what ha that's what's been happening here. There are monsters in the cities. You might have heard that already, though. And no boats can sail because of the sea monsters. Any news about the sea monsters? Not that I've heard. Still in the water. Still hungry. Monsters in the cities? Yep. There are those shades in the big cities. For Mellow and Silva to the north, I'll marry to the south. They're thirty feet tall, I hear, and they breathe fire and they can kill you at a glance. Lately, caravans haven't been able to leave the Great Cave because of the shade in Elmaria. Where is Elmaria? South of here, at the east end of the Great Cave. It sits on the only bridge across the river there. They aren't letting anyone through. That just started recently, I hear. What happened to the mayor? He went out with a patrol, I hear, and a zombie got him. I haven't heard the details. His wife, good wife Lisa, is miserable about it. She liked her husband, I guess. The acting mayor is Elder Aaron at the other end of town. If you want to know more about the undead, you should talk to him. Kenny t waits to take your order. There are several merchants in the common room, but they are all working on large bowls of lizard stew. Can I get a room? Nope, all full. Many more merchants on the road since the boat stopped sailing. If you need a place to recover from your wounds, go talk to Elder Aaron at the other end of town. Alright, thank you, though. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. Alright, down in here. Murtis has quite a few farming families. They are generally far less poor than farmers elsewhere in Avernum. The land here is great for fungus, and they have been farming, building, and growing for a long time. This farmer, however, is not very interested in conversation, beyond getting an answer to the question, WHAT ARE YOU DOING IN MY HOUSE?! Um... We'll leave you be. Bye. <laughs> hmm. Another farmer. Well, you didn't even have a door here, okay? Don't complain. Your stuff I'm taking. Goodbye. Alright, how about you? This merchant has a small shop full of farming supplies. She smiles. I am Carrie. Welcome to my shop. You don't look like a farmer, so I doubt I'll have much to interest you. Unless you're planning to leave the adventuring life. <laughs> how can I help you? Uh, yeah, nothing we need. But, if you have some coins, we do have some things to sell. We have a lot of coin on us, jeez. Uh, yeah, let's take a look in here. Smiting for justice. Standing near this altar gives you a profound feeling of peace. You feel your energy being revived. Ah, so that's how we regenerate. This, stout, this young stout priest is heavily armed. There are two swords hanging from his belt and a bow is slung over his shoulder. You hear the chinking sound of chainmail underneath his vestment. You aren't sure whether he is prepared for an imminent attack or this is simply how he prefers to dress. When you enter the shrine, he shakes your hand vigorously. I am Elder Aaron of the Church of the Prevailing Righteousness. It is always good to meet an adventurer, a fellow warrior, purging the underworld of uncleanliness. Also, sadly, I am the acting mayor if you were looking for the local authorities. Tell me about your church. This faith exists all throughout the known world, on the surface and in the underworld. We are a sect of warriors acting to bring peace to the known lands through the destruction of those who would disturb that peace. Unsurprisingly, adventurers tend to favor our sect. Are you from the surface? No. Lifelong Avidite I am, which is good. There's a sort of schism in our faith. We in the underworld are an independent, free-minded lot. Those of us on the surface, they are more inclined to help to fight the to fight to help the Empire, even when its goals are not, in my opinion, just. Have you met many adventurers? Yes, beyond my memory's ability to count them. Many of them go up and down this road looking for their fortune. Can you teach me any spells? To smite my enemies, I mean. Mass curing. Yes, please. Thank you. There's something I would like to know. 
Can you provide me with healing? Of course. I love to aid adventurers. Kneel at the altar and you will be restored. You are the acting mayor? Indeed I am. It is a sad tale. The real mayor, Kip Kirp was his name, he was killed. I have been guiding this town in his place until the castle can appoint a replacement. And, of course, I am carrying on Kirp's main mission, finding a way to eradicate the undead that plague us. How is Kirp killed? A zombie got him. Terrible thing. He went out with a patrol to inspect the northern caves. He left town to try to reassure the merchant caravans that this area is safe. Then, well, what happened was horrible. Caravans were not reassured. I imagine not. Tell me more about the undead. They are truly a plague. And like before, we are hoping to find adventurers to help us deal with the threat. They come from the Murtis Spiral, northeast of here. We do not know what is creating them, or how they can be destroyed. And we cannot fight them effectively, because there is some sort of powerful magic that protects them. But so you know, if you were able to find the creator of the undead and destroy him, her, or it, I would pay you well, with gold and my blessing. What can you tell me about the Murtis Spiral? It's a dark place, a sponge for evil magic northeast of here. There are many strange things about those tunnels. They seem to shift about slowly as the years pass, so I cannot provide a map. Do you have any idea how the undead might be defeated? None of us do. You can kill them with enough blows from a good blade, but they are so hardy that they are likely to tear you apart before the job is done. The only person who said that he might know how to defeat them is old Sleater, but he hasn't been back in town for weeks. He lives in the honeycomb. Who is Sleater? An old sage, a real misanthrope. Does his best to avoid people. Though fortunately, he doesn't like having undead around any more than we do. He came to town to tell the mayor that he knew how to defeat the undead. Unfortunately, the mayor was off getting killed at the time. Sleater got impatient and returned to his home before we got news of the mayor's demise. If you wanted to defeat the undead, going to see him in the honeycomb might be a good place to start. Or a phenomenal waste of time. Tell me about the honeycomb. Ah, the infamous tangle of tunnels west of town. Home to bandits and limitless pests. Barren, rocky, and always either too hot or too cold. That's where Sleater lives. To him, it's preferable to human company. I think he lives in the northwest area, if he's still alive. Well, I guess we know where we're going to be going next. You flip through Air Elder Aaron's prayer book. It is not locked up in any way, so you have to hope that he won't mind. All of the prayers are for various afflictions to smite one's enemies. Useful stuff. After reading it, you feel energized. You're ready to go out and do some smiting. Your skill with the spell smite increases. Elder Aaron sleeps in this extremely humble cell. Alright. Potions and the like. Alright. Nice little place. Offices of Mayor Kerp. Well, we know he's dead. This woman's alabaster skin is marred with lots of small red blotches. She looks like she has been crying continuously for some time. Despite her grief, she is extremely friendly to you, inviting you in and pouring some tea. Looks like her front room was recently someone's office. She smiles weakly and says, I am good wife Lisa. Welcome to our... My home. My husband and I, we always tried to be cordial to passing adventures. I hope you are not to see here to see the mayor. I cannot help you. What happened to your husband? She tries, with partial success, to keep from crying. My husband was Kerp, the mayor of Mertis. Until recently. He was... lost. Taken away. Him, his body, his sash. Who took him away? The undead. The undead that have plagued our little town for so many years. He left town to go with a patrol to see the situation firsthand. And the undead ambushed them. The guards, they were spared. The monsters recognized that my husband was important. They seized him and dragged him off. His sash? He was wearing the sash, the traditional sash that marks the mayor of Avernum. He was... He loved it. He was so proud of it. I wish I could have it back for the memory of him. If I have a chance, I will recover the sash for you. Thank you. It would be... Those beasts, they dragged my husband northeast. That is where what it is... What is left of him lies. Good wife Leaf says sits at a bench, leans against the wall, and looks sadly at the desk in the middle of the room. Then she looks up at you and says, It is nice to have someone to talk to. It can be very lonely. Do lots of adventurers come here? Oh, yes. Adventurers and merchants, they all stop here. Mertis is the largest outpost on the road between the Great Cave and the Eastern Gallery. 
This town's wealth is based on farming and on serving the travelers. Adventurers come to fight the undead, mainly, and to hunt the brigands and other creatures that live in the honeycomb. Are there always undead? No, but often. Even after the curse on the Martyr's Spiral was broken, some years ago, the place still drew necromancers, mad mages, and other unhinged individuals. And we have to pay bounties to get rid of them. Tell me about the honeycomb. It is a labyrinth many miles long west of here. A marvelous place to waste many weeks, wandering lost and being constantly ambushed. Quite a few beasts live out there, bandits as well. But if you seek the dragon, it left long ago. What dragon? A reclusive creature called Athron. She lived in the honeycomb once, but she left years ago. The rumor was that she went to the surface, but nobody is sure. Who is the acting mayor now? Elder Aaron is serving in the post. His shrine is just to the southeast. If you require information or a place to restore your energy, you should see him. Understood. Thank you. Alright. Only a couple places left to look at. Let's see. The blacksmith of Myrtis is one of the largest women you've ever seen. She is over six feet high, and years of swinging a hammer have given her a formidable set of muscles. She grins and says, I'm Janet, and you look like an adventurer. You're after spears and blades, I bet. How can I help you? Uh... You got some stuff. Nothing we need. But thank you. And in here... Although Myrtis doesn't have strong walls, it does have several guards. Complacency is deadly in a land like Avernum. The guard warns you to be very careful about the undead. They tend to stay away from town, but the moment you leave Myrtis, you are prey. Yeah, that's the barracks. And the job board. There are certain stones, called icy geodes, that constantly radiate cold. They can sometimes be found, among other places, in the honeycomb. Maxfield of Myrtis needs five of these stones to continue his work. He will pay 400 silver coins for them. Oddly, there is the femur of some creature nailed to the job board. These words are painted on it. Deliver to X in the tower will pay. The undead around Myrtis have a variety of interesting properties. It is possible that someone with the right skills can analyze them for weaknesses. Sometimes a gray dust remains when one of the undead is slain. Collect ten samples of it and bring them to Elder Aaron of Myrtis. You'll be rewarded appropriately. An experimental creature called the Cerb Cerbrox Worm recently escaped the tower colony. It is believed to be hiding in the northern parts of the honeycomb. For a reward, slay it and report the feat to Kellner in the Tower of Magi Ruins. It should be mentioned that the worm is extremely dangerous. All right, then. A couple quests we can take care of. One more thing to do before we finish, and that's go down and deal with this plant problem. All right, let's see what we can do about this. Oh. It's these kinds of things. All right. You're probably going to need to stay back. Oh, that is actually surprisingly resilient to damage. Great. Oh, that worked. Ah. Okay, that one's dead at least. You can focus on doing that. And you, I want you to give some haste to Nova. There we go. A bit of curing. And I suppose you can give a bit of haste to Liren as well. There we go, that one's dead. Couldn't get the others. Well, at least there's only a couple of these. Oh, crap. And... Ah, Jesus. Okay. That should be close enough to cure. K 
Okay, these aren't too bad. I mean, they're not doing damage, they're just causing the poison. Which, thankfully, we have a way to deal with. If we didn't, oh, this would be hell. Almost. And there we go. Now they're under control. And we got an armor elixir. And a fiery wand we can sell. Don't think there's anything else down here, though. So, where is the guy? There he is. I cleaned out your cellar, Maxfield. Maxfield shakes his head. I hate it when an experiment needs to be torn up like that, but I don't know what the tower is thinking of sending specimens like that to me. Anyway, if you find yourself in the tower colony, track down Kellner and tell him that you helped me. Maybe he'll teach you a new spell or something. Kellner, sure thing. Easy enough to do. Let's just get a bit of healing and sell the item we got and that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode we'll head into the uh, into the honeycomb. Oh this is going to be so fun and we are going to get so lost. That'll be in the next episode. Till then, I am Chester44, that is Nova, Lear, and John, and Pira. This has been an Avernum 4 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.